What's up, guys? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. Well, the cool thing here is that there's rocks and mountains, you know? Mm. I mean, up in the Catskills, actually finding shelter, you could, you, could, you could fashion something with pine or find an outcropping of rock. You could probably find a dry area. I, to me, surviving in the, you know, eastern North American forests uh, would be, even in the rain, even in December, I think I'd be... Uh, I had brought some people to the jungle. Um, you know, me and JJ, we have Tamandu expeditions. We we bring people to the jungle and we do everything from, you know, we have the world's tallest luxury treehouse to some people are like, literally they sign up for like Paul trips where they're like, we want to go do what you do. So I've just been like, yeah, come with me. And so we were out on the, out, out at night with these people and we're out on this trail. And one of the guys was like, yeah, you know, the jungle isn't that bad. He was like, I thought it was solely, and he just started like, and I was like, okay. I was like, cool, guys, we're going to cut from this trail to that trail. I was like, so we're going to be off trail for a minute. And it was, you could just, I could just hear the people behind me in the dark. Because when I go, I'm not going to oh, hack really through the, I'm not going to, we're in the dark. It's, you have 150 feet of canopy above you and I'm walking <laughs> through the jungle. Jaguar right there. And I don't use a machete because we're, you know, we're in a conservancy. We're in an area where we're protecting the rainforest. So I'm on the trails. I use a machete to maintain the trails, but this is not a trail. I'm just doing this for fun. So why so, am I going to go hacking? So what are you using? Your teeth? No, you just walk through it like an animal. So when they went, <laughs> and so um, I got a, I got a tail of 10 people behind me like ducklings. And so everyone's at night in the jungle. And now all of a sudden there's vines on them. There's caterpillars falling out of trees. Oh, there's leaf cutter ants, there's bullet ants, there's snakes. And all of a sudden they're not on a trail anymore. And the, the tempo of the group, like the happiness level of that group. Yeah. Balls. Oh yeah. yeah. Then we made it out to the other group. Now this is the thing is now, why did I enjoy that so much? That's you, my you, you love seeing people out of their element because they you, you know so much and you know all of us no, are sitting here pulling no. our asshole out to the sunlight at 5 a.m. every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Legs over your head. You know, and you're like, come on, bro. Just um, get out in nature. Actually come see this shit, you know? I do think, I do think though that one of I think I think that this is it. I think that I spent so many days, especially as a teenager, where I would go out and today made me think of it because of the way it's raining. But like if I wasn't here right now, I would be it's like hurricane flooding all over like the tri-state area, right? Mm -hmm. I would be out in the woods. The mountains are just exploding street. Like the streams, I could literally see places where there was like cars parked because they wanted to see if the bridge was going to hold. Like the, the 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 rivers and the streams are going crazy right now. Mm -hmm. Today's a perfect day. Get your backpack, little backpack. You get one sleeping bag. <laughs> you get one book of matches and you get a flashlight and a knife. Now go out into the woods and make it till tomorrow and try to make fire. And it's such a good meditation it's such a good humbling experience because it doesn't matter who you are, how good at surviving you are. Getting a fire started today, very difficult. Finding shelter today, very difficult. On a day whenever the wind is blowing and the rain is falling and you're going to spend one horrible, wet, sleepless night on a rock somewhere and then it's going to teach you. And that's an important perspective to remember. It makes you feel better about your life every day. It makes you appreciate your couch a lot more. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What, so, what, so in an so environment, sometimes I give that to people. In, <laughs> in an environment like that, though, around here, if you had to do that, how would you spot a place to sleep? Well, the cool thing here is that there's rocks and mountains. You know, mm. I mean, up in the Catskills, actually finding shelter, you could you could you could fashion something with pine or find an outcropping of rock. You could probably find a dry area. I, to me, surviving in the you know, Eastern North American forests uh, would be, even in the rain, even in December, I think I'd be quite happy with that. Mm. Easy. There's no, you're not going to sleep on a bullet ant. I'm happy. In the Amazon, though, it's a whole different matter because oh, you have Amazon's your, you so pitch your hammock and stuff, but then you got to get a mosquito net. You're sleeping in the middle of fucking jaguars and yeah. all these animals. How do you, is it possible to pick a spot where you're like, ah, oh, this is safe? No. Yeah. No. If but I put you, you out in the jungle, the if I do put you out in the jungle right now, and give you a machete, which again I, I'm bringing, I, I'm bringing a 45. Sorry, it's not going to help you. What are you going to do? <laughs> shoot a tree? Right. Oh no, I'm going to shoot the fucking jaguar if it comes <laughs> at me. That's, you're going to, you're going to be shooting at ants because what's going to happen is you're going to get lost, you're going to get tired, your flashlight's going to run out of battery after like four or five hours. Most flashlights start blinking. I'll bring my charger. Bring your charger. Okay. <laughs> And then you're sitting underneath a tree now and you realize I can't sit still because of the mosquitoes. 
And then you're going to spend a few hours walking around in circles and, you know, maybe you make it to the next morning and you don't stop walking, but at some point you got to sleep. And that's where the jungle starts to be the jungle because you, the first time I got lost out there, I try, I slept, fell asleep underneath a tree and I like, you know, my flashlight was on its last legs and I cleared out underneath the tree and I slept there and I, you just covered in ants and termites and mosquitoes and flies and then, oh, and then you get bot flies. And they lay eggs on your skin that burrow into your skin. Ugh. And then you have worms in your skin. Ugh. And now you're just a host and the jungle's Ugh. eating you. And you're just I like, like this podcast studio. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, I had I had six bot flies across my stomach for mm. most of May and June. And just living there. Oh, we couldn't get them out. We you just like wake up in the morning and be like, morning. Uh yeah, they wake you up in the morning because they start eating. So they start twitching. It's awful. What it's are they eating? Awful. Your skin? They're eating your skin. That's why they live in you. It's warm and there's food. Oh, yeah. are you immune to a lot of this shit now? Like, are you Dude, ma- not no. necessarily that, but no. like mosquitoes and shit? Do they still bother you when you're uh, out there? Mosquitoes don't leave a mark anymore. Sandflies don't leave a mark anymore. I've like JJ also like we've kind of evolved to the point that our skin has a doesn't doesn't get upset by the mosquito bites. But the bot fly, if you could pull up what a bot fly looks like coming out, a like close up of a bot fly coming out of human skin, it is awful. And you wake up to that. How big are these things? Uh, anything from like a like a raisin, that middle one right there. Oh, yeah, that's it. The the if you see the video of that oh, shot, oh, it's in it. It's dude, in the skin. No, click on it because that's that's actually a video, and this thing is pulsing out of this this human skin. So the mosquito lands and it drops these. Yeah, is that it? This yeah, is a bot that. fly. Hit that. All right. Cut ahead, right there, right there, right there, right there. So that's a bot fly. What we saw was that it was its head. So this thing is going to catch a mosquito in midair, deposit its eggs onto the mosquito, and then let the mosquito go find a host, whether that host is a bird or a human. Oh, yeah, dude. Yo, you ever see the movie Tremors? No, maybe. Mm. That sounds familiar. Giant underground things in Kevin Bacon. See, look. This is what happens. Oh! And then they burrow into this. Oh my! Oh no! No. So look, look, look. No. This is how I. This is how I would wake up every day for two months. No. 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 I'm good. That is fucking disgusting. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. You can't do that. JJ, what about like a match? Can you just like burn your skin? Uh, you can do that. You can spray raid on your skin. That'll sometimes kill them. Yeah, that seems healthy. That's great, right? Yeah, it seems awesome for you. Sprayed a lot of raid before, never on my fucking self. <laughs> that is it's awful. More, it, it's I, awful. I, I read about a bug. I think it was in David Grant's book, the kissing bug, Lost City of Z, where there's there. Yeah, the kissing mm-hmm. bug. Is that what mm-hmm. they call it? Where it'll it will literally fucking land on human lips. Yeah, sting you. Whatever it does, you're like ah, and then you're good. And you're then good. randomly, 10, 15 years later, <laughs> you're fucking dead. Yeah. Like this is no, what you're up terrifying. against in there. That's that that's terrifying. How many of those things exist though? How many of those things have fucked around on my lips while I'm while I'm asleep? Yeah, you're gonna. I'm fucking, just gonna fucking die. You're gonna fucking <laughs> keel over right here. Is there like an antidote we can get for that um, or something? Or can you check if you've been kissed by the kissing bug? I don't remember if you. I, I don't, don't know think you if you can. could like take a take a test and be like, okay, I'm gonna drop dead in about six minutes. Like, I think that was the um, implication. You can't check it. No, I, I believe dead. that you cannot check it. How many how many insects do we not even know about in the Amazon? Like, Milli- millions. 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 It's that high. Okay, so at some point we had to talk about it, the, the treehouse. So everything you're saying about, and I'm going to plug this thing because it's so damn cool. Everything that you're saying about the Amazon and how do we survive there. There's So you have this, on the one hand, you have beautiful wildlife, and then you have the extreme conditions. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.